Hello, Jess Two Film here, back from a little break, and I've been dying to review Skinema Ring because this is one of the most divisive films released recently, where people seem to really love it or really hate it. Where do I fall? Well, I kind of really liked it. <laughs> Will I say I loved it? I don't know, but the more I think of it, maybe the worse it kind of gets, but it's sitting at a pretty darn good rating. All right, so what is Skin of a Rink? This is one of the most subversive recent horror movie releases. We don't really have a clear narrative of what's going on here, and a lot is left up to interpretation. I thought the actual storyline throughout here I could grab without, you know, it being like, oh, this is really just random stuff thrown at the wall. No, I, I, I got enough substance for what they were trying to tell, but there's a huge focus and really just a great use of creepy shots. That's it. Just creepy shots. Not much of shots of a subject. Like you won't see a person's face. You won't see a full body front design or whatever. The film is mostly just shots of uh, dark parts of a room, a room at night, and a lot of Lego shots, funny enough, and other things we associate with our childhood. And this tapped into childhood fears I had. It, it put me back in a state where I used to be scared of the dark. And I think that experience of, of what this film has brought really left an impression on me. It's an inescapable nightmare. You're watching it, and you know if you're paying full attention to it, you're not whipping out your phone or pausing it every five seconds and going to the bathroom or whatever. It's kind of extremely effective in its horror, if you ask me, where I... I was frozen at the edge of my seat sometimes like this because the film actually has some smart uses of jump scares where there's not many jump scares. I thought this was just going to be jump scares every five seconds. It's not that. And it has less jump scares than a lot of horror movie releases. But how it builds up to these jump scares is pretty darn effective. Uh, but mostly the film is just putting you in an extremely horrifying atmosphere. It builds just by its visual look, and I love that. And its use of lighting, it's very grainy and almost, I guess, uh, lo-fi-esque, some people would say, in some ways in its style. And I really like that because I, I just think of recent horror movie releases, and a lot of them will waste time on a story that sucks because their writing just isn't up to par with, uh, say, an established screenwriter or whatever. And also their scares will just rely on jump scares that just come out of nowhere, and that would be about it. This not only had effective jump scares for the most part, but Skin of Rink also has just a sense of atmosphere that left me kind of scared when I got home, which hasn't happened in a while after seeing a horror movie. I was once again afraid of the dark. <laughs> and I really enjoyed having a very unpleasant experience watching this where I felt extremely uncomfortable. I felt horrified. To actually have a horror movie that scares me is quite a rarity. I, I really appreciate that. It didn't waste time on a story that sucked. You could interpret a story from there, but it really doesn't have much of even dialogue in the film. So yeah, I, I think this was an awesome movie. <laughs> if anything, I do think it could have been shorter. The person who made this makes a lot of short films on YouTube, and that kind of makes sense because uh, they make like horror short films. And I was like, maybe cut like 20 minutes here. But I like that this was feature length. Like if this was a short film or 60 minutes, I don't think it would be as effective. But having that long drawn out nightmare feel that's inescapable, especially in watching it in a movie theater, really, really helped in just leaving an unforgettable experience I had, um, which I did not enjoy watching this, but I don't want to enjoy watching a horror movie. And it wasn't that I didn't enjoy it because it was crappy quality. I didn't enjoy it because I was left pretty nerve-wracked. <laughs> so of all things considered, I'd rate this one as 7 out of 10. I really enjoyed Skin of a Ring. But again, it is very divisive. I just, I, like I think of stuff like Megan and Smile, and those were such crappy horror movies where they had bad stories and just lame scares that were laughably bad. And and then I think of Skin Marink, and I'm really happy. But let me know in the comments. Are you more of a fan of, say, the Smile and Megan horror movies, or were you a Skin Marink fan? If you didn't like Skin Marink, if you freaking hated it, I want to hear that too. Just don't be mean to the people who watched it or the people who are scared to it. Again, with movie opinions, hate the game, not the player. <laughs> so, you know, just don't bring it out 
any of your animosity to the actual people who watched the movie or the specific people who made the movie. Just tell us why the movie sucked and why you didn't enjoy it. And if you really loved it, I want to hear that too. So let me know what other recent movies you want me to review. Subscribe because I'm having more than just movie reviews very soon and I can't wait to release those videos and I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.